So those people that know me know I'm nothing if not reasonable. I'm a reasonable husband, I've got a reasonable house, a reasonable job, and my wife tells me I'm just a reasonable lover. Um, <laughs> and the sad thing is, just to prove how reasonable I am, I see concepts like the flying spaghetti monster as a uh, particularly reasonable concept when compared to other religions. So that's just how reasonable I am. But there was a time in my life where I, I wasn't so reasonable, as I worked for ML, thank you, um, not with JK, but it was all-consuming. Um, and I had an epiphany about 10 years ago where I thought, actually, my life was just too balanced around work, and I wasn't spending enough time with my family. Um, and being a child from the 80s, um, and being indoctrinated with arcades through my youth, uh, and Nike adverts about just do it, I sat down with my wife one day after the birth of our first daughter, and I said, we've got to get out of here. So we planned our escape route. And just like in the old days of Pac-Man and, and asteroids, we decided that now was the time to move to New Zealand. And this really was the, the genesis for Mr. Reasonable. Um, this was a chance for me to rebalance my life, and I swore I would never go back to the days of actually just working. I looked at how I would compartmentalize my life in terms of what I worked, my life and the work I do for the Child Cancer Foundation, and my family, which really was the catalyst for, for this presentation. And what I wanted to do was to create cartoons uh, with my kids. I wanted to capture those moments that I had with them that were so fleeting that a photograph didn't really capture it. So I created uh, this concept of my virtual family, which is more fun than my real family sometimes. <laughs> um, and whilst I'm wearing a suit today, I like to think that actually I'm all business at the front, but at the back, I'm all party. <laughs> but it's true, I never really take my tie off, so actually this picture is, is a bit of a lie. Um, but really, when I'm with my kids, I'm absolutely focused on the fun stuff, and I take away my professional life and my volunteer work, and I actually want to have fun with my kids and enjoy myself. But the sad reality is you get older, um, and you start to forget stuff. And the challenge for me was I, my wife would take photographs, and the next week I wouldn't have any clue where they were or what the conversation was about. A good example being last week, I took my kids up to the Civic Center for the Halloween party. I took a photo, and I looked at her and I thought, what the hell was she saying? And the reality was my youngest daughter, I just said, could you smile? And she said to me, Daddy, zombies don't smile. <laughs> Which is actually true, because I'm a big zombie fan, I know quite a bit about it. But the challenge for making cartoons is I have absolutely no artistic talent whatsoever. Um, but I am creative, and pointing to the very first presentation, if you are creative, you can pretty much do anything. So what I did is I went online, I found a piece of software I thought I could work with, and being a geek for many, many years, um, I came across a site called Site Generator. And what it let me do was pretty much create shapes and people and sites. And this was the very, one of the very first cartoons I did. The challenge for this one was it, was it wasn't really colorful enough, it didn't really convey the images I wanted. The big challenge was my daughter couldn't use it, and the whole point of doing this was, was to do it with my kids. What I had to do was create shapes and blocks and circles and colors, and we did the very best we could with it. But it really wasn't really... A, it didn't... A, these are all true, by the way. But it was a really difficult thing to convey. But we decided to publish anyway, and being a blogger of many, many years, I decided that we'll put it up on Blogspot. So this wasn't really to become the next Dilbert and to make a few million dollars. It really was just to satisfy my own curiosity about whether I could put these cartoons out there and, and somewhere to remember them by. Now, I never really ran out of material because the insane conversations that I have with my daughter and the very fact that she believes that I'm the stupidest person ever to walk the planet, um, they often amaze that I even get to work alive in most of the times. And what we started to do was um, plan out our cartoons. And I wanted to find a, a better tool set to do it, so I came across this really cool site called GoAnimate, which is animation software. And what it did for me is it really opened up all the possibilities. I could create really, um, really bright backgrounds, I could control the characters, I could create the faces and the clothes, and I could really represent those conversations that were happening with my kids. So we started to plan it out, and I would have a conversation with my oldest daughter, and she would roll her eyes and walk away, and then three hours later she'd come up with a with a map for me and a storyboard, and she said, Daddy, I want you to create this. And we would sit down together, and we'd go through the software, and we'd create a backdrop, and we'd create the characters. It's a very straightforward piece of software. Essentially, you start with a background, like a cafe. You put the chairs in there, there's some perspectives, some props. Anybody can do this. You bring in the characters and the faces, and then the last part is actually the expressions and the, and the humor, and bringing in a punchline of, of, of something at the very end. But what I found was that actually, rather than just capturing moments, I was capturing really important events. The, the first time I took my daughter to the Bullcock Bistro, which is an amazing place, she was blown away by the steak. The first time I came to an Ignite Welly uh, a couple of years ago, I think it was, where um, Fishhead Whit Richard um, spoke about his love for mayonnaise, which still disturbs me just a little bit. <laughs> but, then, but then, more importantly, it started to picture, um, pick up turning points in my life where I realized that my, my geek daughters were more geeky than me, and they could actually beat me on the Wii. And then the fact that they were individuals, they weren't really an extension of me, they were little people that had grown up. And then I look at my eldest daughter now, who has inherited my love of zombies. Um, she has more artistic talent than me, and she's creating her own comics now that are significantly better than mine. 
So the thought I would leave you with is, don't be unreasonable. Just stop in life, take a breath, and think about being more reasonable. Thank you very much.